All right, this is the game Dream Shark from the developer Dream Shark. This is a modern uh, Game Boy Color homebrew game that's uh, still in development. There's still an active Kickstarter for it at this time. Uh, this is the beta version of the game, so it's not the finalized version, but uh, it should be pretty much complete. I plan to play through it. This is my first time playing through it. I'm going into this game blind. Uh, I saw a little bit of the trailer, and uh, but other than that, yeah, I know pretty much nothing about it. <clears throat> the um, oh my gosh, right off the bat, the the title screen music is <laughs> really high quality chiptune music. Um, yeah. That's a great, that's a great song. All right, let's see. Oh, start doesn't do anything, so I'm gonna press A. Oh, so my goal in playing this is I'm going to, uh, so experience the game as a new first time player uh, to provide feedback. And also to yeah, see if there's any bugs or see if I can make any recommendations or suggestions. All right, new game, I'll press A. And I'll do story mode. A long time ago, there was a place called Earth. So, uh, this game was made in Game Boy Studio, and uh, the way the text is scrolling right now is excellent. One of my mm, one of the little things about Game Boy Studio that bothers me is I think it's the default behavior of the default behavior of the text scrolling windows is every time you push a button the window will slowly scroll down and slowly scroll back up onto the screen it drives me bonkers it takes so long to get through text uh, this is much better this is much nicer home to the humans they love life on earth <clears throat> but they created problems and it looks like me on my cell phone walking down the street The world fell out of balance. Oh, here's our first sighting of a shark. <laughs> it looks like there's one red pixel out of place in the top right edge of the window. Let's see, 90% of the biodiversity was gone forever. Humans tried to adapt by evolving their bodies. In the end though, they decided that they'd rather escape from this world and its problems. Um, the punctuation is a little, mm, not what I expected. Uh, the people who made it to the moon started. So considering instead of using ellipses, instead of using the dot, 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 uh, just let the sentence flow until you get to the end and end it with a period. Uh, this make it sound like a, uh, half of a, th how do I put it? It is half of a thought because it's half of a sentence. It sounds like a sentence that's trailing off. The people who made it to the moon started a new society. So, hmm. so instead of ending uh, half of uh, partial sentences with ellipses, consider just, you know, ending it, no punctuation, and continuing the sentence on the next block with a lowercase letter. So this would be a lowercase a new society. It would make uh, reading it flow a little easier. to cope with the harsh reality of moon life. <laughs> the astro people wear VR masks while sleeping. This is, uh, <laughs> I did, uh, I did read through the Kickstarter page and there is a, uh, there's a lot going on with this plot, with the story. And this is really well done in the, in the game so far. It's very easy to follow along with the dialogue and the, the imagery. <laughs> this little dude. <laughs> As a result, nobody dreams anymore. Many years later. Good uses of ellipses. <laughs> oh 
All right. So I am now taking control of the game. Yeah, so once again, all the music so far has been outstanding. Once again, this music uses an incredible bass line. As someone who dabbles in chiptune music, I might have to, uh, I might have to uh, get some tips from this composer about, uh, about how I can make my bass line like this one. <laughs> All right. So when I walk down, he wobbles back and forth. That's a cute effect. If there's no, how do I put it? So when you go up, you see him directly from behind. That's nice. When going down, he's always offset to the side a little bit, which is fine. It's a cute effect. The fact that he looks left and right as I walk down, it makes sense to me. All right. So that's a fine choice. Okay, I'm just checking out the graphics as I'm getting started. Uh, his backpack is a different size when he's facing up. I don't think that's a major issue. It's a little jarring. So, I think... Oh, this guy down here has a smaller backpack. Hmm. Alright, so I can move up, down, left, right, but not diagonally. I'll talk to this guy, uh, kid with the A button. There's a hidden room below. See? Oh. Oh my gosh. You know, now that I'm trying this out, I, th I really remember. This is bringing, giving me flashbacks. I think I remember trying out this demo. <laughs> All right, what's this? Oh! Oh, I collected a down arrow. A donut? Uh, oh, I didn't even try the different buttons yet. B, A, select, and start. Okay. Messages. Bo says, meet me at the sky bridges. Dad says, hey, Tack, I'll check out your world later. Oh, and there's a picture of Dad. Dev says, your world is cool. For kids, I suppose. <gasps> oh! Saved worlds. Oh, the R is a little hard to distinguish. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, I see. There's the R. So, saved worlds has a typo in it. It'll need to be corrected to... Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. If this is intended to say worlds, then the R needs to be corrected. If it's a new world... If it's a new word, oh my gosh, uh, that is wold, that's fine the way it is then. All right, so I'm gonna press B to go back out, cool. And I can also do that with the start button. Oh, I can't press start to go back. All right, so consider making start, go back to the, to unpause the game, but I'll press B for now. Yeah, as I was saying, I think I played the demo, like when you posted it forever ago. <laughs> when the developer posted it forever ago. Oh. Okay, so I can walk on these ones. All right, can't get that one. All right. Can I get this one? Kid. Isn't this a really cool world? Wow. Tack me. I say, uh, it's okay. Not a lot to do here, though. All right. So at this point in the game, if I hadn't just paused my game to uh, read through my messages, then I wouldn't have understood that me, I'm TAC. Uh, I think I'm TAC. I'm pretty sure I'm TAC. But check out Tech's Getaway. That's my world. You can drop a portal by pressing start. Oh, I'm kind of busy. So by OK, actually, I'm a little confused. Let me read through it again. So if I press A, so he's gonna start talking, so he's the kid. Isn't this a really cool world? Wow, so I'm visiting this world. And I'm Tack, so I say, it's okay, not a lot to do, but check out Tack's getaway. That's my world, you can drop a portal by pressing start. Okay. Let's collect this item. All right. 
So I'm a little confused by these. <laughs> oh, oh, look, it says press start. I didn't see that flashing down there. I mean, I just noticed it flashing down there. There you go. Okay. Hmm, it doesn't direct me what to do, but it's just, it's telling me that informing the game's informing me that uh, there is a start menu. All right, saved world. Oh, oh, people are visiting my world or the world. So this is where I am. Secret stairs. Drop a world portal. No. Night city block. Drop a world portal. No. So at this point in the game. I'm a little confused what my goal is. Oh, I can scroll to the right. Oh, I see. So on this screen, there's no way for me to... Uh, there's no immediate way for me to tell that I can scroll to the left or right. I don't know if there's an easy way on the Game Boy to do that. Maybe have... Mm, I certainly found out quickly enough that I could scroll to the right. If there's an easy way to inform the player that they can scroll to the right, that there's more options to the right, then look into it, but I don't think that's a big enough issue that it needs to be looked into. It's fine the way it is. All right, visits 23, sky bridges, drop a world portal. No, I'm good. Oh, <laughs> and I just realized uh, the dialogues are doing the, uh, the pop up and pop down thing that I was mentioning earlier. All right, so that's full. All right, so I'm gonna close this because I really want to see. Uh, I want to explore this one a little more. Okay, so the game gave me items to collect, but I'm not sure why. Oh, what? what? Oh, something beeped. Oh. Oh. What do you mean? Okay. Huh. That was interesting. So these two blocks here look like shadows. And that leads to this one. Oh, and now that the puzzle is completed, stepping on them doesn't do anything. That's cool. Are all these blinking? No. Well, technically, these are too high up for me to touch. Okay. So I got five. <laughs> I feel bad calling them donuts. <laughs> they look like donuts to me. Was I trying to collect this one? David, it's not a collectible. It's just the icon in the top left corner. Oh. Uh, now, how does that work? How did the program developer do this? It looks like... It's part of the, it can't be part of the background layer because it's scrolling. It's not part of the window because there's transparency. So it's just another sprite. Okay, that's unfortunate that it has to be uh, kind of behind there. I don't know what the significance is. Oh, so, I don't know. <laughs> it's really not a big deal. I was confused. I'm kind of a ding dong. I thought this, when I got up here, I thought I was supposed to be able to collect this. I just didn't see it, it was my, my item counter. Um, what was I thinking? Uh, if this is relevant, we'll find. I'll find out later if this is important for the player to see at all times. If it's not important for the player to see at all times, consider putting it in the start menu. All right, let's see here. Well, I unlocked these stairs. I'm still not sure if I'm supposed to leave the world or stay. Oh. All right. I gotta test it. Nope, I cannot fall. Wait, go. Stop it. I cannot fall off. Okay, so there's not really any, so far there hasn't been any verticality to the stages. Not that I can move in. It appears vertical, but nothing I actually do vertical. Okay, I got 10. Okay, I'll head up and that's it. I think I'll drop a portal. So this game so far is all about world building. I'm just going to select, I don't know where to go, so I'm just going to select the first one. Yes, drop a portal. What? Get in there. Press A to enter. All right. I thought I could walk into it. Hey, hey, I thought this would look familiar. 
All right, so let's try another one. What if I drop a portal like right here? Oh yeah, drop a portal. Oh, I'm scared. What's gonna happen? Am I gonna bonk into the sky? Hey, it worked! Very nice. All right. I'm still confused what my aim is, but the good news is... Oh! Oh! oh I guess I stumbled on a uh, back alley walkway. Okay. What's kids say? Isn't this the coolest sim world? I don't know. My eye guy... <laughs> is it okay if I call him eye guy? This character is uh, adorable, and uh, I think he's cute. And I love the uh, the uh, giving him one the blue the blue eyes to make him stand out as a main character. That's an excellent choice. He seems kind of bummed about life, so I'm just I think he would answer no, regardless of what I say, what what I think personally. Oh yeah, what world was better then? Drop a portal to tax getaway. Says tack. Hmm, maybe. Everyone's doing it. This guy. I'm too scared to check out that dark alley back there. Oh, nice clue. That's... Ah, I wish I hadn't found it earlier. Well, I mean, hey. I'm a first-time player and I found it. So, I guess it's okay. Let's get these things. Okay, that's it for this. I'm gonna go check out that dark alley, alley back there. <laughs> okay. You found a secret portal. Oh yeah, go in. You know it. Oh, I'm a sausage. Oh no, avoid. Oh my gosh, I am a sucker for parallax scrolling. Oh, the end. You won. Want to play again? Here's a new ship with a laser gun. Absolutely. If I get a laser gun now, I'm not... Oh, I want that. Oof! Oh. <laughs> well... I'm going to assume that was a mini game and it was fun, but I'm going to continue on with the main quest. All right, saved worlds. Oh, once again, the top says saved worlds. Ah, it's going to bug me if that's supposed to be an A or an R. All right, go to Sky Bridges. Huh? Get some Marble Madness vibes. And once again, I cannot fall off the side. Thank goodness. Because this game isn't a... This game's not about... Oh! Precarious platforms. Gosh, it's freaking me out. <laughs> Just as I was saying that, the ground beneath me broke. I'm not sure what the point is. Could I have fallen down? Well, maybe that'll teach me. That some things can... Oh, I see another one. I can fall down. Oh, but I can only fall off specific predetermined spots. I can't fall off anywhere. Okay, so that teaches me that there are places I can fall down, and as far as I can tell, there's no consequences. Okay. Oh, oh. All right, I'll talk to this guy. Bo. Tack. Your world is so popular tonight. Everyone's logging off for school, so tax getaway is open. Let's race. Oh, now? Oh, oh, he went over there. Okay, so I'll go meet up with him whenever I choose. I'm gonna explore this stage a little more. Hmm. I'm surprised. Okay. So this is the first spot in the game where it's becoming... The fact that there's no diagonal movement is becoming awkward. 
Um, so con consider adding diagonal movement as an option, you know, by pressing, for example, up and right at the same time. Uh, mm, if that's not the case, if that's not, uh, if there's no intent to add diagonal movement, it might be better to, how do I put this? to redesign some of the the stages so that they don't they don't uh, force the player to have s quite so much diagonal movement yeah but once again it's not a big deal it's a little awkward I'm just mentioning stuff uh, anytime I expect something to be there when it isn't there yeah oh wait how do I know which world's mine is it this one Deadly space, world full. Okay. Tax get away. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Let me scooch in. Holy moly. Okay, I can't jump off the side. I can go up and down here. Ooh. So this is getting real crowded real quick. Which causes it to be a little difficult to tell what I can and can't bump into. Ooh, so I can't go through here. Can I talk to kid here? No. Oh, bah. you're here, Bo. Let's race. Anything new? Just avoid it all the win. Pretty simple. It surprises me that he's using an exclamation point. Up to this point, Tack is very <sighs> blase, melancholy, depressed. He's just sad sounding, but now he's uh, now he's exclaiming something. That wasn't something I expected to see. All right, we got some uh, what's it called? Got some battle toads here. Ooh, more sharks! Shark sighting too. So, oh, it is just a void. Okay, you won. Give me a, give me a space laser. See you on the bus. <laughs> Void Labs. All right, so this is the... Wake up. <laughs> oh, I see. You walk off the bed. And this is the same sprite as before. <sighs> Lear... You are my hero. The dialogue in this line is a little confusing. Um, so I did look, I did read through the uh, the Kickstarter page. The Kickstarter page lists all the characters in the game. Uh, I believe that's Dr. Lear, who is the creator of, well, he runs Void Labs, obviously, and he has a goatee. And uh, I think he does the, uh, the VR that everyone uses. Um, consider lowering the, lowering the poster. So I immediately got the vibe that, uh, I'm now in the bedroom of something like a teenage boy. You know, he's got posters on as well. That's what I had when I was a teenager. Consider lowering the poster down. So it makes it more obvious that you can interact with it. And, uh, I don't know, maybe decreasing the size of the door. Well, yeah, maybe decreasing the size of the door. What? Oh, oh. No, I take that back. Do not decrease the size of the door. <laughs> That's funny. I'm funny. I'm sorry. What I said was uh, coincidentally funny. All right, Mom. Tack, why aren't you ready? Unbelievable. Enough sim. Oh, it sounds like me with my kids. Go eat fuel downstairs now. Fine, I will. First, I just want to update my world really quick this morning. Because... Stop! I said enough. It's a school day. You need to be less self-centered, Tack. I bet you never give your dad attitude. You know, never mind. Now I'm late. You better not miss the boss. Oh man, I really am a young boy. Okay. Oh. Oh my goodness, a world editor. 
Oh. Oh, okay. So, run your cursor over an item to select it. No need to... No need to press the button. Is this an eraser? Oh. Okay. Well, I'm not interested in editing a sim world. So I'm going to exit. Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know what this button does. So these are different parts. Okay. So to exit, Ooh, that's a little odd. So I highlight it and either press A or press left arrow. Okay, the SimWorld editor, I'm not going to go into detail here. Uh, the controls are a little different from what I expected. The default is exit. If I go back in the world editor, oh, my world is gone. Start and select, don't do anything. All right, this might be unfinished, which is fine. The game's not done yet. All right. Exit. Void rewards. Oh! Oh, look at this. I can customize my guy. And since uh, the other screen with the world uh, taught me that I can scroll to the right, I was expecting to be able to scroll to the right. Oh. Wait, what? What does this do? I can fly? I can jump? Well, I want to save up for that. Oh, these items? Oh, I almost have 25. All right, I'm going to equip this. Oh, equip does not... So pressing... Uh, is this how I equip? Buy it. Minus 10 VP. The game does a great job of explaining the world and the characters and what's going on, but I don't know what VP is. Consider explaining to the character what VP is. I'm going to call them... Vips. Because that's how I pronounce VP as if VP was a word. Alright, 10 Vips. Uh, equip. Okay, I'm going to equip it. Oh, I wonder if I'll be able to equip them. Uh... Anyway, all right. B. B. Oh. Oh. Oh, tech pack. <laughs> uh oh, I am low on fuel. Yikes. I am not lucid. Okay, maybe I'll learn about that later. Pack. Nothing in my pack. Exit. And I wanted to go explore over here real quick. Okay, nothing. Gotta make sure there's no back alleyways. Oh, I like the blinking stars. That's such a nice touch. There's too many Game Boy games with static backgrounds. Oh! Whoa! Okay, I'm now in a 2D world. Such a great little character. All right. Oh, mom? No. Oh. Oh, hold on a second. So that door is big. This door is big. Oh, I got family portraits above the stairs. Very nice. This is a door under the stairs. All right, that's why it's small. Oh, there's barely any fuel for breakfast. Oh. oh. Wait, is that where breakfast is? There's the dining room table down below. What's this? Oh, save game, sure. Slot one. Game saved. World building trophy. Top world, 2299. There's a lot going on here that just makes me, uh, you know, I just say, uh, I guess I'll find out later what it means. Get up there. Oh, oh dear. Oh, you can fall through the steps, okay. Let's see here, and what's in this door? I'll press up to enter. Oh, oh, it's my dad. Wake up, dad. I'm back to 3D world. Hey, Dev. Dev. Oh, it's not Dev. Huh? What do you want right now? 
I'm late to the bus. Can I get a ride? No, just try to catch it. I'm busy. Come on, Sim's closing soon anyway. Help? Go deal with your own problems. Oh, I want to be able to jump again. Oh. Oh. I guess you won't mind if I borrow this. Plus three fuel. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, no, stop. B, B. Okay. Can I use up fuel? Is that what I'm doing? So that's the same pixel as the F in fuel. So I'm just going to test this out real quick. Whee! Okay. What's my fuel look like now? Same place. Okay, so that's not what fuel is. That's a boogie, boogie, boogie. Boop, 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 boop. Let's get out the door. Oh! That is... What is on the roof of my house? Headphones? Antenna. Something floating. Oh! Oh, okay, now it's using fuel. If I'm in my home... Oh, that's a nice touch! So the sound and the flashing... Uh, uh, status bar. Status bar? Bar at the top right corner. Let's me know that I'm using fuel when I float. All right, let's go to the right. Because... Oh. Oh. Oh, I can't jump. Oh! <gasps> no way. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that's the buzz! Oh, that was an interactive cutscene. It's <sighs> impressive. Oh, there I am! <laughs> it's hard to see, but I really like it. Come on, buddy. No, slow down. I'm coming. Wait for me. Oh, goodness. Okay. Should I follow it? I guess I'll try follow. Oh, I'm a stick! Oh, I'm gonna dodge these things. Yes, more parallax scrolling. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. A little sausage tack. So this is a little, uh... Uh-oh. Bonk. Hey, it's my buddy. Nice flying, tack. Take a seat next to me. How could you almost miss today, tack? Think Lear will be judging our worlds? Bus driver. Sorry, kids. Seems we're out of fuel. Oh my gosh, bus driver, you're the worst. Proceed to school on your own. Let's jetpack jump to school, sim style. Oh. I heard when Sim 2.0 drops, we won't even deal with fuel problems anymore. All day sim. That just sounds great. Ooh, like nuclear. Don't make me jump over this. All right, what's the consequence of failing? Actually, I'm curious. What is the consequence of failing? <laughs> okay. Buddy? Let's conserve fuel by not holding the jetpack button too long each time. Good idea. Hmm? Oh! I got a little fuel. Oi. Yes, oh, I hope I get the walk back. I don't want to miss Dr. Lear's. Oh, Dr. Lear, let's go. Boop, 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 boop. Let's go. Oh my gosh! 
All right. I got it. <laughs> it's really cute. <laughs> I love this. This is a great character. I know. I don't know. Whoever thought of this character, the space, what is it? Astronaut with one giant emotive eye. This is a great character. All right, what do you got to say? Kid, oh, random kid. Do you think you'll be in the top again? I don't know, buddy. I'm assuming. So I'm a little, oh. Oh, is this above me? This looks like one of those like terminals, and not terminals boards like screens that you'd see at an airport uh it's such a minor detail but consider putting a light gray line underneath to make it look like a shadow to make it to imply that you can walk under it whatever not important the leaderboard still isn't updated oh he's looking at the leaderboard that's what it is oh there's so many people should i talk to him oh i can't talk to everyone this guy's hyper focused on something no 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 Oh, I can't squeeze through here. Okay. Oh, want to hear a secret? Absolutely. Who do you like? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. Fuel craters are being siphoned away. That's all I know. What if I said no? Why give me an option? Your loss. Ouch. Okay. No. No. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it just looks at me. Oh, save spot. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 this is cool. I thought we were going to Dr. Lear's laboratory or something. Okay, so these must be lockers. I mean, they look like lockers. I was, I came here uh, thinking that this was uh, the laboratory. There is a door. Class in session. Buddy, stop trying to barge in. You're going to get uh, detention or something. No? Can I go... Eh, can't go in there, okay. Hmm, do 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 bum 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 Can I go in here? Oh I can go in here. Alright. Cute little classroom. No, 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 no. Oh, I guess there's not a lot going on in here. Oh well, let's take a break and look at the graphics. I like the shadows under the table and chairs. That's great. Mmm. And the bookshelves. <clears throat> it's very good. I mean, everything's nice and clear. Mm. So, so far on most screens, it's been a little difficult to tell how do I do this? It's been a little difficult to tell where I can and can't walk. Uh, anytime the player thinks they can go someplace, but they just kind of get, you know, stuck in between objects, it can be a little frustrating. Um, just making some notes. Just taking some notes. All right. <clears throat> oh, 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 okay. <laughs> what took you, Tack? Let's get up there. Oh, it's a shiny button. <laughs> the button's glistening. That's great.
No, it can't break. What do we do? All right, so if I was in this situation, so I'm a young boy. I'm sorry, I'm a, I said a boy because, you know, I'm the player, I'm a boy, I'm me. I assume, uh, but so far, Tack could be either a boy or girl. Uh, Tack, I'm a young Tack, we'll stick with that. I'm a young Tack, and if I was in this situation, I would go and form an adult. I'm not sure. Can I, oh, 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 he's looking around, it's a cutscene. Whoa, Tack, you're out of control. Now, what? Oh gosh. What? Ah, I keep something. Oh, Are you sure about this tack? You could get zapped from the exposed wires here. You think? The auditorium door is so high up there. Okay. Can I double? Oh, I can double jump. I was just about to make a joke. Every game nowadays got to have double jump. Okay, so I can double jump. Ow! Taff, if it's, fla if it's flashing, avoid it. Fly safe. Ow! Gosh darn it. Oh my gosh. Oh, sweet mercy. Can I jump over it? Oh. <laughs> Let's just jump up. What? Get up there. Okay. Oh, no, wait. Undo. That's not what I meant to do. Ugh. Oof. Hmm. I guess there's not... It doesn't seem like there's really a consequence for uh, getting zapped. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! This is my... <laughs> so there's been... How many different... Uh, views have I seen so far? I have seen... So, chibi RPG mode. I've seen... What's it called? D diagonal? What's it? Isometric view. There's been 2D side-scroller view. There's been... Up, down, left, right. Walk into the... Like the far away, far ground view. That's four different views so far. There's spaceship mini game. There's the... Racing game? Not the racing game. The Battletoads. I'll call it Battletoads. The Battletoads mini game. Oh man, all the seats are taken. Where am I gonna? Oh. Hey. Huh? He's looking at me. When I was young, like you, I learned the truth that life is suffering. I lost someone very special who couldn't take the suffering anymore. That our elders tell you stories of a time before Sim, when Astro people starved and died. That's when I made the Sim. <laughs> Eulation? I'm not sure how I would... Uh, so he's... How would I say that in spoken dialogue? That's when I made the Sim or simulation a place to distract from our suffering but i was shocked <laughs> to discover yeah i was shocked too trying to get up here buddy fuel lasts longer in sim than in real life oh sim became our digital utopia yet we still suffer who here woke up to low fuel today I'm worried for all of us. It's for your own good. Sim can be more than entertainment. We've avoided our suffering too long. It is time to escape it altogether. Sim 2.0 will be a new way of life. As we enter it for school. Work. Oh, it's the future and I still have to work? No, I'm gonna cry. Play. <laughs> and, ah, beyond. Wink, wink. 
You kids are the future. Yeah, Gen Alpha. You decide the kind of worlds to build. And remember, I keep an eye on all top visited worlds. <sighs> Thank you. Sim 2.0 is on the way. Bye. So, mm, I get kind of mixed messages about what I am and where I'm going. So, I was dreaming in a sim and experiencing sim worlds. That's right, nobody dreams anymore. I was experiencing sim worlds instead of sleeping. That's cool. I then woke up and it was time to get ready and go to school. I caught the bus and this doctor is coming to our Dr. Lear is coming to our school to give a presentation slash advertisement for Sim 2.0. But I'm at school. But it's kind of like where he works. It's a little, little mixed. I'm gonna continue left because I came in from the right. Oh. Oh, oh, it doesn't let me go back. Very nice. I was worried I had gone the wrong way, but this is a good. Whee! Yeah, okay, buddy. Oh! <laughs> Okay. Oh, cutscene. Oh, I was wondering what I was going to do next. Who we got here? I think it's Dr. Lear. He looks... Oh, yeah. He looks different in this mode. Tack, I've seen your new work. It's quite popular. Thank you, Dr. Lear. That means a lot. Um, well, that's what I also wanted to mention. Another point of confusion is just the... Like these worlds that are built... Are these, like, I'm thinking of them as like uh, R Roblox? <laughs> Ro yeah, Roblox. Like a Roblox world. So Dr. Lear created Roblox and then users log in and create their own little worlds for people to explore and some are more popular than others. But apparently it's also a big enough deal that we talk about them at school? I'm not quite sure. Okay. I would hire you as a Sim 2.0 builder, but the truth is, your work still lacks that je ne sais quoi. But keep at it, Tack. And you, oh, Tack is camel case. I thought it was, I thought all the names were up, all uppercase. Uh, anyway, and you could work at Void Labs like your father. Oh, yeah, thanks. <sighs> I don't think he has the best view of his father. Oh, here's another point of confusion. Is Tack, how do I put it? There's a difference between an avatar character that represents the player and a character you're playing as. Um, oh, I don't know. In the original Pokemon games, I would, I would consider uh, the player character, you know, you name him, and I'm that character. I'm the boy going on an adventure. And in other games like oh, Duke Nukem 3D, you're very much playing as Duke Nukem, a character who has his own personality and own traits. In this game, I can't quite figure out if I'm this character or if he's his own entity. If he's his own entity, him saying, oh yeah, thanks, tells me a lot about how he feels about his father. If the intent is for the player, how do I put it, for the player to be this character, then I would expect the game to, how do I put it, to give me reason to not like the father, but not say it outright. Yeah. If that's this, in that, uh, for example, I don't know if that's going somewhere or what. Tack, you're on your way up, so don't worry. Check the leaderboard. I've got to go now. Okay. Well, I know where the leaderboard is. I also know where to save my game. Once again, all the music is really good. Do 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 boom boom. Do do. All right, leaderboard. Oh, come on. 
You just think you're all that, huh? Well, the board is updated. Let's see. Deadly Space is so popular. I bet I... Wait, no. You? How? Want to trade? Five fuel for five void points? No, I want to save up for... Walk away. Upgrades. Top visitor world. How do you do it? Oh, who said that? I really don't know. Do you want to hang out after school? Let's just meet up in the sim tonight. I'm going over my dad's, so we'll be logged in all night. World building again. <laughs> it's also like Minecraft. Aw, oh, man. How will I escape my boredom? Oh, one more thing. Meteor showers. My mom saw them this morning. Be careful. Oh, he's telling me there's going to be a... No? Oh, I love the going into the background. Wait, so now what? I can't go down. Oh. Oh, so now I go home? If I fall off... Whoa, 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 buddy. Okay. So by walking into the... By walking... By falling off the screen, the game reset me in a p position I was not expecting. I expect to go back to the last the last piece of ground I touched. Uh, also, it didn't reset my... What's it called? It didn't reset my horizontal velocity. So I kept... Without touching the controller, I kept... I continued to fall into the... Uh, off the screen again and again. Alright. Oh. What's the consequence... What's the consequence for... Uh, Hitting a comet? Huh? I'm not sure. So, this game so far. Oh, the bus. So far has been, from what I can tell, 100% world. What? Buddy. 100% world building. Oh, it's different. This game has been. Oh, get up there. 100% world building. And what I mean by that is... Uh, it's so annoying. Oh, I can't float anymore. Oh, I can? Alright. Oh, oh, I got five fuels. Alright. I kind of want to see what will happen if I use up all my fuel. Can I jump up there? Oh, there's a keyboard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love MIDI. Oh, oh, I'm up there. What happens if I use up all my fuel? Okay. I'm low. Blinking red. No, I'm out of fuel. Oh, oh I lose. Okay, well, I made it home, so. Door opens. Oh, he's no longer in bed. Where's my bro? I think he's my brother. Eh, maybe he's in the kitchen area. Hey, mom. I can tell she's a girl because she's got eyelashes. Can I press down? No. Why do we never have fuel in here? I'm doing the best I can. You're being so ungrateful to me. Lose the attitude. Oops. Lose the spell. Uh, only one O. You don't know how hard I work to put fuel on the table. Oof. So the dialogue between when will dad be here to, to pick me up? You're staying here. Oh, guess I'm okay. So we've established that I'm staying here. Can I? Oh, Dad! Oh, my brother! Dad, can you give me a ride to Dad's? 
I guess I am going that way. Hop on. What was I? I was in the middle of a thought. Oh, oh! I got a laser. Oh, I'm dev now. Nice. Keep doing that. What did I do? I don't know. I shot someone. Whoa. What? No. Right in the head. Attack. Just shoot and steer. That's literally everything. What are you doing? Oh, I made it. Oh, dance. Attack. I wasn't uh, expecting you. Hmm. Come on in. Hmm? Now hold on a second. Oh, there. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So this is not a 2D environment. This is a 3D? Or not, yeah. 2.5D. Yep, so I can move up and down. Okay. World building trophy. The same world building trophy? Void Excellence Award. Kev. Oh, Dad likes his computers. Password. Oh, I'm gonna hack the system. B to cancel. Sim World Editor, okay. Void Labs, three steps to Sim 2.0. What do you mean, Bakoomp? Let me check my messages. Lucidity. I got the keyboard part. Cool. Select button, still doesn't do anything. What's this one? World Building Trophy. Uh, I was tap of the world building leaderboard dad oh I'd, hmm, I had to guess that WB is world building all right if I was so if I had saved the game you know left it for a day or two and then came back to this I might not remember that WB stands for world building Dr. Lear said I have a shot at void labs oh awesome buddy that's great but I I just I just need that something what is Dr. Lear after, Dad? Could you help me? Sorry, bud. I can't have you over. Honestly, don't know what Mom thought. She can deal with it and pick you up. Well, another time. See you, Tack. <clears throat> oh, okay. Good night, Dad. When will I see you? And he's gone. Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna sit on the sofa and cry. Was I blabbering on about something? Oh, so far, this has been an interactive story, which is fine. So, oh, oh, what was that? Let me save again. Oh, interesting. Okay, so there's a slight graf graphical glitch where uh, the, uh, well, you see it, the pop up. Uh, allows you to see the character through the pop-up. All right, I'll save again. So far, it's basically an interactive uh, storybook. Um, ooh, it's a very engaging world. I. It's an engaging world. It's an engaging plot. I don't think the story f so far has engaged me. Um, I can't tell how far into the game I am so far. I've been playing for about an hour. Oh, exactly an hour. And, uh, I did hear there was a big, uh, there was an introduction. Uh, so we'll see where it goes. And let's see. Right. And by an interactive story, I mean, to be specific, um, there's no lose case scenario so far. There is almost no choices no there's no choices uh very few choices and the choices that do exist are pretty inconsequential you're still the game's still directing me where to go next um so so far i'm just going along for the ride all right let's see where it takes me next <clears throat> oh oh here we go the door oh back to 2d mode boink can i just run home mom 
Calling Dove. I got my cell phone. What? What do you need now? I need a ride back to Mom's, please. Seriously, Tack? Ugh. Can't you ask Mom? Oh, he's angry. Oh, I saw a little angry face in the corner. Fine, I'm coming back now. Be ready. Okay, I'm ready. Oh. <clears throat> huh? Boop, boop, boop. Oh, A and B buttons. Do. Oh, I need a ride. You're so needy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the use of, uh, what's it called? Sarcastic, uh, sarcasm case. That's great. Back off. You have no idea how I feel. Oh, oh, I'm not quite sure who's talking now. I think it's Tack. Oh, maybe it's him with the... Oh no, his eye is always bouncing. I've been through it, Tack. I'm sorry. They disappointed me a lot too as a kid. I deal with it by just keeping distracted. Oh, right in the face. Right in the eyeball. Oh, I finished. Hmm? Will you come in? Mom keeps calling me. Hmm, nah. I'd rather avoid Mom's wrath. Whoa! Bruh. Whee! Tape game. Can I get... No. That's interesting. I like how you can't use up fuel at home. Mom? No, she's not gonna sleep in brother's room. Boink, boink. Oh, uh oh. Oh, there's another door over there? <laughs> Jack, how dare you? What are you doing? I just, I wanted to see my dad, okay? And you're a hypocrite, saying, enough sim. Yeah, I can see it on your forehead. Oh, that's what she was doing. She was wearing the sim goggles on her face. Mm, I can't quite make out what she's doing with her hand. She's beating her leg. Oh, he looks so flustered. Well, if he's so great, you can just go live there. Oh man, mom's the worst. Oh, he's so angry. <laughs> angry tag. I'm gonna throw myself on my bed. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, maybe I could just escape to there. All right, is that where you want me to go? Oh, my computer. Oh! You know what? No, you're not going to run to your room to world bills for Sim. When you do nothing to help me out here, you don't deserve to use it right now. Why is she so angry? Stop, Mom, you're ripping my mask. Just let it go. Oh. <sighs> Look what you did. How are we going to get a new one? What kind of kid rips their own sim mask? Unbelievable. I didn't rip it, you ripped it. Oh, you ripped it. <laughs> You took away the one thing that made me happy in this world. You're addicted, Tack. Too sim obsessed. Isn't it obvious why? I learned it from you, Mom. I'm trying to just get away from this. This? What? This whole messed up family. Wow, I'm done, Tack. Good night. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm going to go to bed, too. Uh-oh. I want to 
go to bed. Can I even... Oh, can I pick it up? No. I can't leave. Can I talk to... Uh, you are my hero. Break my mask. Fine. You can't stop me. Okay. Boop. What? Sea sink blindfold. Oh no, I can't go anywhere. Void rewards. Oh, I haven't collected anything new. Can I buy this again? No. Oh, I see. It's a slightly different shade of blue. I showed it that I already got it. World editor is here. Okay. No. Huh. <laughs> no new messages. <sighs> Still awesome music. Oh. Oh. The story is progressing. Oh. Oh. What's going on outside? Hmm. I'm in the ocean? I fell asleep and dreamed for the first time? Oh, that looks so cool. Oh my gosh. I read about this on the, uh, a big shimp. <laughs> ah, what are you? You're not a shimp. There's something below. It's after me. Oh. Oh, I can walk here? Can I walk here? Oh, it's a little difficult to tell what I can and can't stand on. Oh, oh, I can stand on everything. Okay. You saved me. Why didn't you just run? Oh, I don't know who you are. I was just dealing with the situation. What was it? I don't know, but it endangers us all. I th oh, he slid down. <laughs> Cute. I think I remember reading that everything I just experienced is the introduction. Is this Sim 2.0? I don't have time for this. Get home. Oh, he's zipping along. Oh, I can still jump. Double jump. Oh. I got no more, uh, oh, I got infinite fuel. Oh, because I'm dreaming. Oh, can I go up? <laughs> I'm coming for you, Lottle. Oh. Why does the screen keep shaking? Oh, I can save. Okay, is this my friend? No, this is Axolotion. An Axolotion. Welcome to Axolotia. It's a crystal island. First time, huh? Well, enjoy exploring it. Did I run out of fuel? Am I dead? You might be if I hadn't dealt with it. That creature has caused havoc for a long time. Axolotia is scared right now. Why don't you all just relocate? What, and throw all this splendor away? I'm not giving up on my home now. And maybe you need to get back to yours. Bye. I've got to sell these shimp now. Wait, I don't know where home is. Help. <sighs> Look, what's your name? I'm Tack. Tack, I need to earn enough to pay for my kid's school. Oh, this is an adult. Maybe? Someone with kids. So, if you can help me get 100 gems, I'll help you get home. 
Till then, I'll be too busy selling shimp. I see some gems. <gasps> he looks terrified. Poor attack. All right. Oh, look at this tree. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna cry. What a beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, set piece. Let's see. All right. Uh, once again, it's a little difficult to tell where I can and can't walk through. Oh, signpost. Spire, club, dock, store. One. Oh my. Oh. You have one gems. Okay, that's how I find out where gems are. D do we? Aye. The shimpin is wicked good today. <laughs> Talk to my man, John. He'll hook you up. Just tell him Dooley sent ya. Looking for the shimp market? It's over here. I'm collecting gems. Oh, I got a yellow one. Please don't hurt me. Just take this. What? I'm not gonna hurt you. Me and my giant eyeball are just looking around. Okay, there's lots of buildings that enter. Try school for us stuff. I'm not really paying attention to the signs yet because Okay, so I can't I can't go indoors that are closed. Okay. Oh, there's so many places to go right now. Ooh. Excuse me. I'm comparing shimp. So I can only talk to the light colored ones. How are you doing today, little fella? Buy? Can I buy a shimp? You don't have enough. I don't know how many coins I have. Okay. How are you doing today, little fella? Cancel B. Oh, oh what? B brings me to that screen. Oh, I blocked him. Black. All right, so everyone does and sells the same thing. Okay, there he goes. Some say he's still running to this day. Uh, looks like this ch this this chest is uh, colored as if it was significant, but doesn't appear to be significant. I can walk on the trash cans? Yeah, okay. Leave down below. All right, let's explore some more. What is this building? Oh my. Oh my, who are you? Someone please help. Oh gosh. Just barging into people's homes and stealing diamonds. Oh, a mirror effect. Bravo! Oh my goodness! What? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm just gonna keep checking it until I. Large shrimp! Yes. So, how many items do I have now? Oh my goodness. 52! Holy crap! You have two medium shimp. Exit. One large shimp. I love the name shimp. Okay. Can I... Oh, another large shimp. Yeah! Gems. I love this. Oh, bravo. What a cool effect. This mirror very very nice i don't know if i've ever seen a mirror in a game boy game before <gasps> i might have to think about that 
it's got a oh man that's cool i don't think i've ever seen that before i'm kind of freaking out geeking out over that uh mirror oh i can't go over there can i go south these crystals look easy to break oh 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 so that implies that i could be able to find something to break them later <laughs> was that a fallen tree so cool anyway it doesn't look like i can get through here oh my gosh oh <sighs> so pretty oh no. wait a kid we're discussing things Oh, it's a table. Oh, there's a light bulb. Oh, I thought that was the floor. I thought this was a mat on the floor. It's a little confusing. <clears throat> okay, who we got here? The club? Oh, DJ! Yeah, perform. Oh my gosh. Uh, holy moly. <laughs> this looks cool. I, uh, I won't be doing it right now, but... There's a lot going on in this game. Holy moly. A music editor. Who have we got here? John. Hi, how are you, lad? I've not seen an eyeball so big <laughs> since my last trip. Out to sea. I haven't gotten to the dream shark yet. Was it Dooley? you darn right it was Dooley. Have my shimping pole. Okay. Oh, I see water. I <laughs> see water. Oh, look at this shimp carcass. Can I shimp here? Oh, I can. Uh -huh. I'm gonna try again. Oh, I got something. Press A. Am I winning? Oh, I got it. All right, let me try again. Okay, get him. I got the shimp. All right, so that's a cute fishing gunny game. I haven't seen a fishing game like that before. I'm gonna try it a couple more times. So, mm, one, two, three. All right, so once again, I got it on the third try. Yes, I got the shimp. So that's a cute mini game. So. The minigame is great. It's fun to fish. Uh, in regards to the random, I assume it's randomly generated, whether or not, uh, you know, you get a, a bite. In regards to whether or not you get a bite, it doesn't, uh, the fact that you sometimes just don't get any catch, anything on your hook, doesn't really add anything to the gameplay. It just, it just kind of wastes my time. I just push the button again. So consider getting rid of the uh, the waiting mechanic, I think. I guess it adds to the experience, but do you know what I mean? Like if I'm, if the consequence for uh, the game, the consequence of me not getting a hit on my fishing hook is that I just press the button again, then it makes no difference then to even have that. Because the player is just going to press the button again when they need to catch something. So just let them hook something on their fishing pole every time. That's my point. If that makes sense. 
Oh, yeah, they do, don't they? That's okay, because I can sneak around it right here. <laughs> oh, wait, what? You're not going to talk to me? Bruh. Ooh, a new place to explore? <gasps> oh, I got it. Can I go up here? No, gotta follow the path. All right, how many, I'm curious how many, uh, <laughs> oops, in my pack, how many crystals do I have? 61 gems. Do, do. Where is that place that gave me unlimited crystals? I think that was it. <laughs> yes. Twenty gems. Five gems. Five gems. So it's thirty, thirty-five, forty. I think that's it. Holy moly. Okay, so I should have up a million. Brazilian, 121. Tons of them. Okay. It's been a while since I've seen a save game slot. Alright. As far as I can tell, all I do here is buy shimp or sell shimp. I don't know what I do with shimp. I don't know why I would want a shimp, and I also don't know. Oh, how do I put it? I don't know why I want uh, gems. That's cool, but where's my buddy who's looking for a hundred? No, no, no. I know who you are, Dooley. Oh, another box. Is it empty though? Is it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Peek. Oh yeah, the disco. What? Where am I? No, I've been over. Oh, that's right. I kind of looped around. What's this? I don't remember this place. Oh, Capital Spire. Access restricted. Oh, here we go. Is this an elevator? Oh. Did I ride it? Oh, I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I haven't been here yet. Hey, kid. What do you need? Ah, oh, so leave. <laughs> That's a little tricky. So leave doesn't mean leave on the boat. Oh. It's so pretty. There's a snow effect. Oh, I remember this place. I'm going to chop up this tree. I can squeeze in there. I'm going to go fishing. What? I can't fish here? Hmm. So I'm a little confused about where I can and can't shimp. Go shimping. All right. Well, let's try leaving. Yeah, give me a ride. Whoa, 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 no map? Can't loan you the boat without a map. Later, little man. Well, where do I get a map? All right. Hmm. So that's a dually. This is house. Okay. Let's read this sign again. Now that I'm finally getting uh, used. Okay, the spire is locked off. East is the club of the music. West is the dock where I can't rent a boat right now. And south is the store where I can buy and shall, <laughs> shell shimp. Sh sell shimp. No, I know. Oh my gosh. Oh, who's this guy? I can't remember. Hm. Calm down, buddy. All right. Uh. 
buy some of my delicious... Oh my gosh, get back up there. Whoopa. That's blocked off. These guys are background scenery. I'm trying, buddy. Oh, little fella. Did it work? Okay. Sell. What? No. I just got it. Hmm. Don't you have a life to get back to? Oh, there's Lottle! Oh, I found Lottle! Oh my gosh. So, mm, I don't think Lottle stands out enough. I was looking for Lottle. I knew the game told me that it did a good job of informing me that my next goal was, task was to get 100 gems. And, uh, but I was, I had no idea where to find Lottle. It was just, oh my gosh, I almost ran into him by chance. What? Do 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 do. <laughs> what do you think about that? Thank you. This means a lot for my children. You seem like a nice kid. Would you like to come with me to meet him? Their dad is with them. Oh, is Lottle a woman? Eh, it's kind of a feminine name. Oh well. Or his man, whatever. Their dad is with me. He may also be able to set you back or get you back home, excuse me. With his maps. Oh, this is relevant to my interest. Boogie 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 boogie. This is Lottle. Okay, I'm starting to recognize the way it's here. You can follow me. Alright, I'm in control. Do I still follow you? We live in the South City? It's a bit further. Oh, top top. Oh ho. New area unlocked. This is our simple abode. Come on in. Oh, this city's a little overwhelming. Oh my gosh, there's even more houses. So many places to look at. <laughs> I love the posture. Ugh, what is going on? Where are they? I'm worried. Humph. He never communicates. Oh no, another dysfunctional family? Hey, where are you and the kids? What do you mean? I'm at work. Lottle. I was shimping. You were supposed to pick them up from school. Vec, come on. Oh, Vec is spelled two different ways? You never told me that. Fine, I'll just... Ugh, you're so unbelievable. Oh no! Tack went from his dysfunctional family to visit this other dysfunctional family in his dreams. I have to pick up my kids because their father is being unreliable again. Oh. So far there's been... I don't want to say it any likable characters there's been no no characters every character so far has been full of faults uh, except dr. Lear I guess he just wants a better world I don't trust these quakes I need my is that what this is going on oh whoa Lotto, calm down. Oh, I'm back in 3D mode. Nope. Let's go this way. Oh, I can save. Alright, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> Lotto, what are you doing? Okay. Oh, <laughs> this goofy look. AI. Oh gosh. Uh oh. Oh, that was close. Oh, I can't go up now. We're on an island. I'm sure your kids miss you right now. Thanks, Tack. Once we get my kids, I'll help you find your family too. Whoa. Nothing. Oh. 
Wow. Let's go around. Okay. Oh, what happened? Was that a giant bug? I'm in a cave. Get him! Oh, I can't move left and right. And this guy doesn't like being touched. All right. Can I puzzle my way out of this? Can you come here and help me? Are you my navvy? Hey, listen. I have anything in my pack. What if I give him a shimp? Okay. Pack. You have one small shimp. Sell it or exit? I don't know, man. I don't... Use it near water. As soon as I touch it, he goes flying. Where's the... Hit him with my sword button. Come here. Alright, that doesn't seem to work. What if I go this way? Oh. Can I follow you? Come back. No, I can't get close over there. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Another one. Out of my way. Oh, no. Your big butt is blocking my way. Is there another one? Nay. There is not. Get off there. <clears throat> All right, there is a, ooh, a big one. A lot of houses here. Ooh, who are you? Are you important? Absolutely not. Oh my gosh. Life in nature is simple. I like it. What do you mean, Puching? Why'd you say Puching? All right, talking to this character, it seems to, uh, hmm, how do I put it? If I walk up to him and tap A, nothing happens. Oh, I see, it just takes a moment to load. All right, not sure why that happens. Is this my life now? Gosh darn it. Uh-oh. Oh, what's up? Want me to take the lead? Yes. <laughs> Where'd you go? I'm now a lotl? What? No, wait. I'm now... Oh. Chest really is empty. Oh, five gems. <clears throat> I'm back to being a lotl. Okay. No, okay. Cool, three gems. What's up, want me to take the lead? No. So now I'm back to, okay, wow. That was a clever, uh... I thought I had soft locked the game. Okay. There are so many houses, but they all do the same thing. Do 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 do. Boom 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 boom. Boom 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 boom. Boom 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 boom. Do 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 do. Boom boom. Hmm. Okay. Well, if every house is going to look the same, then I won't bother looking in more houses. Can I go up now? No, because there is... No. Oh, oh, it is broken. Okay. So there is a slight graphical glitch on the broken area up there. Seems to reset back to its original size. Hmm. Oh, you know what? How about you take the lead? Okay. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, I got bullets. Oh. Follow me. Oh, oh good, no friendly fire. Oh, I don't be able to... Oh, he's coming for me. I don't seem to be able to hurt him. Oh, I can shoot here too. Oh! Can I break some more blocks? Do, 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 do. I definitely can't go that way. Oh, oh, so last. Oh, what's this? The last instruction was I need to go around the island to get over to the school. Oh, my goodness. I am absolutely overwhelmed by just how big this area is. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, holy cow! Okay, let's get out of here. You're freaking me out, island. Oh dear. Can I go around? No. Come here, Tack. Oh, it's dark down there. I, I can't. My kids are in danger. I have to. Can't we just go a different way, Lottle? I get it, Tack. I'm uncomfortable too. Whatever's in there, we'll face it together. Just try to stay present. Oh, I'm in tack mode. Oh gosh! Is this good? No, it's bad. No. Oh! Okay. Alright. Oh! Ooh. Okay. Well, there's a little path, so I'll try following the path. And I'm at a dead end. Gosh darn it. <laughs> no, I want to be able to shoot bullets. Oh, I did it wrong. Yes, take the lead. Oh, when I get close to these things, everything lights up. That's cool. And this one? Yep. All right, well, the path leads this way. Where's my friend? Where's my buddy? Who's this? Don't know. Can you see me? I can see you. Hmm. Uh-oh, I'm off the path. Hmm. All right, there's another uh, suggestion for a recommendation. Make it clear to the player where they where they can and can't go in re in regards to boundaries. So in the middle of the room, not a big deal, but uh, something on the outer border here around the edge that says, yeah, this isn't this isn't the this isn't the edge of the screen where you can walk. Instead, it's just boop. You know, it's just the... Uh, oh, how do I put it? Ah, you probably know what I mean. Put a barrier of rocks there or something. How about this way? Oh, who are you? Visitors, come in. Welcome to my pad. <laughs> oh, look, he's got a fridge. <laughs> it is a pad. He's got a Nintendo. Wait, don't leave. Stay here with me. We are going through there now. Answer three riddles. All right, buddy. Now we've now got a quiz game. Light makes it full. Dark makes it new. His name is Riddle. Oh, I love it. On rare occasions, it appears blue. Sounds like a 
Moon. Correct. Oh, man. Riddle two. They're lost during day, seen at night. Helps you navigate if you read them right. It's the stars. Correct. Final riddle. It has forests, but no trees. A domain controller. Not just kidding. It has oceans, but no seas. What? Forests, but no trees. Oceans, but no seas. Oh, dear. What if I just start typing letters? Pickles. All right, well, first of all, I don't know the answer. FYI, the L key doesn't seem to, uh, doesn't seem to work. All right, are you sure you want to leave now? No, I'll stay. <sighs> what has forests but no trees? Oh no, is this the end of my play? Are you sure you want to leave now? leave I'm stuck here oh no well at least there's soda come on tack tack you're killing me <sighs> all right wait don't leave stay here with me a great challenge awaits just beyond all right I'm cheating hmm? oh there we go Answer th oh oh riddle three very good don't make the awesome don't make the player play the part they already did all right riddle it has oceans but no seas oh interesting. All right, I cheated. I think the answer is a M A B. Correct. You may pass. <laughs> He's like, I just realized. Look at his face. He's like a little golem character. Oh, I like riddles and games, but uh, it'd be too bad if the player got stuck here and just didn't know the answer. How would I do that? I don't know. I guess it's 2024. People can just look up stuff online if they get really stuck. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, I like I like riddles in games. So you can have my old map of Axelosh, Axel Axeladia. Thank you. I what? Oh, I clicked it. Oh, cool. So I'll continue to the right. Whoa. Uh -oh. Shark sighting. What? Oof. The cavern is about crumble. Follow me. Okay. I'm doing the best I can. Oh, oh, that's clever. All right. What have we got here? No. All right. This <laughs> tack hold A to run in wide open areas. Whoa, there it goes. Oh no. My papers. Oh geez, they're scattered. Sorry, sir. Harmonize letter B. Harmonize letter A. Harmonize letter F. What are you doing? You just knocked an old man down. Take notice. Buddy, I'm doing my best. O. C. Something. 
Oh, I can't fit through here. No. Ah! Don't you dare. <laughs> yes, take the lead. Yum, 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 yum. M. Did I get them all? No. Did I get them all? Maybe. I want to know what this egg is. Egg. All right, let's see. Could you help me gather my papers? Absolutely. Oops. Oh, that's the island. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, oh. My icon disappeared. So when I leave the map... Okay, so here's a small glitch. When I leave the map, my cursor does, uh, disappears until I tap an arrow key. All right. Uh, pack. That's what I wanted to go. Papers. Harmonies alphabet. Ten out of sixteen. All right. So I got six more to go. You got this. You don't got it up there. Okay. Do 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 do. Is it in the house? <laughs> Whoa. Sweet, sweet gems. What's in here? Any papers fall? Oh my gosh. Ah! Wait! Oh, okay. There's another small glitch. Uh, no, I don't want you to take the lead. All right, it's back now. So when I entered this building as Lottel, uh, both characters were, both character sprites were tack, I think. Uh, whatever, it's recording. I can just check it later. But it seems to be a graphical glitch. <sighs> Did you eat one of the papers? Do not eat those papers. Oh, I can run all the time. Oh, very cool. Could I run this whole time? I don't know. Oof! No, go back. Oh! Whew! Two, three, four, five, and six. There it is. Oh boy. Am I in the. Oh my gosh! Get out of my way! I don't know. What's it? What's it called? The uh, escort stages, escort uh, levels. Yeah. Well, it can be. Uh, oh, you know what? I just realized. So a lot of the frustration with the character following around, whether you know, when Lottel was following Tack or Tack was following Lottel, uh, could all be avoided if uh, they just didn't have a collision detection. You know, you just walk through each other. What? This crazy character is here and I don't get to talk to him? <sighs> oh, well, I hope we get to chat with him another time. Oh, where's uh, Mr. Man? No. There he is. You collected all my papers of the past. Take my copy of the Harmonies alphabet. You can decode any cryptic words now. Hm, I don't know the word cryptic words. You're welcome over for a refreshment. Sure, buddy. No, I do not want to take your lead because I want to go meet people. Oh, this guy right here. Peepottle. Peepottle. Hello again, friends. How would you like some refreshments? Sure. This is so delicious. Where would you buy it? Ha, ah, ha, not bought. Oh, I was afraid he was going to say squirted it out myself. Okay, beats the stuff at the senior center, but I'm an old man. It takes me time. Hey, if you two help me garden, we can enjoy the fruits of our labors. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I've got to get my kids. It's an emergency. 
I understand the times feel dark. Seed of hope to lift us up from deep underground to up above the trees. I'm just gonna garden a little. All right, and how about this flower? I don't know, man. All right, I guess we really don't have time. This building looks really different. Holy moly. <laughs> sure. You lost. Well, what the heck? Get out of here. Is this where the mafia is? A card game? Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. Okay, get out of here. Whew. Absolutely exhausting amount of content in this game. All right, I really want to rescue my kids, though. Her kids. The kids. Hey, this place kind of looks familiar. Uh-oh. Oh, oh my gosh. You know what the dream shark almost reminds me of? Is, oh, I don't know how to explain it. The character in a game or a show or a movie that, uh, What was the choice? I'm a, don't you dare stand there. Okay. Where uh, they're not the main character, but uh, like they're the big, ominous, scary thing that's uh, out of my way. Gosh darn it. Wait, what? Oh no, come on. Yes, take the lead. Oh no. Did I lock myself in here? Oh no! Well, how did I get back here? No! Whew! Ah! Ha, ha. I gotta go around again. Boom, boom, ba, boom. Well, at least I learned how to break stuff. South? Yes, through the tunnel. Bear right. Come on, get over there. Oh, are you going to make me take a quiz again? No. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, there's the fridge. This guy is still happy with me. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I like how he has his own theme song. Get through here real quick. Oof. Yep, still following you. Get up here. Okay, I'm back here. Follow left, or follow the path west to the uh, ice desert. Oops. Okay, rain still triggered. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Hello. Yes, take the lead. All right, let's see what's in this cave. I have learned I can light up this area. I'm not sure what the point is of lighting up the area. I can already see what's going on without the lights. Oh, so here's an example. 
of how giving too much to the player is a little exhausting. Uh, finding this cave, so the accomplishment was getting to this cave, and the next step is to, I mean, what this appears obvious to me is to go down this rope into the lower cave, uh, but the fact that the room is so big causes me as the player to walk around uh, to explore only to find nothing. If there's nothing to find, just make the room the size, uh, shrink this room down to the size of uh, about the Game Boy screen so that the player knows that the important thing is just the rope in the middle. Whoa! The rope tack! It's breaking! Ah! Uh oh. Rope. At its back. Ooh, I can pick it up? Okay. That's cool. I can't remember if there's anything else in the game thus far that I've found on the ground that I was able to pick up and carry with me. All right. Oh. Hmm. I wasn't done exploring this room yet. All right. So I have two options where to go, the left and the right. Oh, what? Oh, we got some Flappy Bird action. <laughs> Thank goodness I got my spacesuit on, so I can still breathe. Okay. Can I go down? Oh my goodness, at this point. All right, that's just a light. Oh my goodness. It just keeps going. I don't know what I'm doing here. Please tell me it goes deeper. Oh my goodness. All right, I guess I'll go down. Oh, it's a shimp. Big shimp. Is he gonna eat me? What are you gonna do? Oh, oh he's not gonna do anything. He's just freaking me out. Oh, it's an RPG. Oh, did I win? Wait, start. A, B, oh. Let's see, if I press start to check my pack, I have one small, Four medium. Four. So one, four, four. If I talk to Mr. Shimp. Hey. Fight me! Aw. I guess he's not going to fight me anymore. Oh! I found one. Random battle. A, B, so B will leave the battle. Okay. Ooh, I guess I'm swimming back out. Hmm? Nope. <laughs> oh, so the Swimming controls are a little sticky. I'm not sure why. Sometimes when I smack the A button, I keep swimming up. Sometimes he will not swim up. I'm not sure what the causes the change. If I hold up arrow, I seem to have a better, better chance of swimming up. Route. Oof. That was kind of freaky. Alright, so this direction has a pool to swim in. Let's try west. Nothing down there. Okay. Can I go west again? 
Boom, bam, bam, bam. Huh. This room seems empty. I <laughs> like how it looks like there's little smiley faces on the floor. <laughs> okay. This is where I fell down. And I do still have a... I do still have a rope. Alright, you take the lead. So no... Okay. Hmm. Pack. There's my rope. This rope may help you get over tall obstacles. Oh, so it's a built-in uh, little help system. Get over tall obstacles. Okay. Oh, can I look at my map? Oh, no, stop. That's a little... St oh, I see. <laughs> so check it out. The uh, menu here is causing me my fingers confusion. It's confusing my brain because the movement happens when I release the button instead of when I press the button. So it's a little bit of a delay, if that makes sense. Press. Oh, no, I'm wrong. <laughs> I take that back. I forget what I just said. It's just kind of laggy. Hmm, I'm not sure why the menu is like that. All right. All right, let's see here, map. There I am. Boogie boogie boogie. Oh, and there's the spire at the top. I remember seeing that on the map, uh, the signpost earlier. B to exit, exit. So I can go back in the water. Can I skip the water? Psh. <laughs> Get in there. All right, what if I go right instead this time? Hmm. Okay. Oh! Well, this is different. <laughs> what is this? Six, seven, eight, ten. Oh my gosh. All right. What do you think, Lottle? Let's show respect by not walking on the ancient words. Jump on the edges? I'll help out if you get stuck. Select. Oh, no, no. Stop. Cancel. Oh, B does not cancel dialogue. Oh, we're back to the title screen music. It's sealed shut. Yeah. All right. So let's try starting with one. Jump. By not walking on the words. What if I walk on the words? I don't know. Two. Three. Huh? Four. Five. Dun, 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 dun. Six. Oof. Oh no! Alright, can't jump back on the ones I already did. One, two, three, four. Oh. Oops. Five, you're killing it with me. Five. Well, I appreciate that I can't fall into the pit below. That makes it a lot more comfortable. Seven. What? Get down there. Huh? Eight. Nine. Bloop, 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 bloop. Ten. Hmm. It's pretty. Oh. The Ohm. All right, I get more riddles. That's kind of a surprise. If red means stop, then green means... 
Oh, uh, it go? <laughs> Correct. Speaking of go, you can't go over, you can't go under, you can't go around. What way can you go? Can you go? I can't go forward because there's no F. I can go back, but there's no A. Through? T H R O U G H. T H R O U G H. Correct. One last riddle to go through. You see its shadow rise from the dark. Around these waters, we call the beast a. <laughs> the next sighting of the dream shark. This is quite a build-up. Correct, you may pass. Now leave my cave. Leave my cave. Ah, buddy, I want to leave your cave. Get out of my way. Cool. This is quite a build-up to the uh, to the dream shark. Hmm. Once again, I have no idea how far I am into the game. Oh, more of the city. Oh, cutscene. Hey, kid. What you doing by yourself? On a school day at the movie theater. My dad never cares where I am. Most of the people he care more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the third... The third... Uh, how do I put it? The, the third father figure in the game that is uh, not involved with a child's life and doesn't care. More care, more people care more about real products than real people. Ooh. Yeah, I know what you mean. Please get home to safety, kid. These quakes are causing dangerous cracks. So, if I remember correctly, uh, the screen started shaking before it was established that it was quakes. Like, I almost thought I was bumping into something and it was shaking, like I, the player was causing it. So uh, consider changing it so that the first time a quake happens, uh, the characters react. The characters react and, uh, and uh, comment about the quakes. All right. Oh no, my key card, have you seen it? My dad is going to be so mad at me. We know he's going to be mad. All the parents in this game are mad. <laughs> if he finds out I lost my key again, I thought your dad didn't care much. When I interrupt his work, he does. I barely get to be with him, I'm afraid. He may not want me if I disappoint him. Where do you think he last left it? Or where he left it? The observatory, the mall, or beach. Please bring it to me if you find it, okay? We'll return it to you if we do find it. Well, where'd you go? How am I gonna return it to you if I don't know where you are? No, that's not him. He was smaller. We're trying to learn more about the planet we orbit. Real is planning to escape to a more habitable place. Hab habitable place. Habitable place? We're looking for somewhere with signs of life with this telescope. Oh, what is a big telescope? Can I look in it? Huh. How about this planet? This is cool. Where is my... How about this planet? Sure, save game. There's so much going on. I just went from helping a little kid find his key card. It looks like he doesn't need it right now. The, uh, what is it, Lottle. Lottle implied that I, that is not my next quest because I can come back here if we find it. Okay, and then I stumbled upon an observatory. Okay, let's get out of here. 
Wow, okay. Oh, lightning. Well, uh... No, not my pack. Come on. Tech. Lucidity. Hmm. Lucidity... The definition of the word means... How much I am... Awake? Or aware that, uh... I'm in a dream? Ticket required to see a movie. Oh my gosh. I don't want to see a movie. I just... Did you find anything anyone dropped in here? Ah, whatever. <laughs> Surfer dude. What's up, little dude? What do you need right now? We're looking for a key card. Seen one? Don't know. So much real trash on my beach. Here's a surfboard. Clean up the water. Then you just might spot it in the waves. Okay. Well, here's some weight. Oh my gosh, move. Here's some waves. Oh, I'm surfing! No, continue. Ow, I'm not surfing. What? Stop. Oh, no, real trash. Is there a consequence? Oh, every time I get bumped. It removes some of my trash. Okay, I got five. <laughs> Can I have some more trash? All right, let's get out of here. Whew. Colonel Panic, please send a clear pic of this screen to the developers. All right, I promise I will. Let's load state. What's up? Want me to take the lead? Yes, I do. All right, I'm not in the mood to surf anymore, I decided. <laughs> okay, what's this business? Oh, I know what this is. More free money. Oh, did I talk to this guy? I've been wasting a lot of time at the movie theater. Do you want my ticket? I absolutely do. <laughs> Looks like the game engine pauses when the lightning strikes. Woo! <laughs> I know who that is. <sighs> That's funny. <laughs> Just to confirm, that is a uh, official Dream Shark music video, isn't it? That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> oh, oh, same, same movie. Well, this is cool, but I don't see a ticket. All right. Well, I guess that's. Wait. Oh, maybe it's just an Easter egg. Well, that's a cool Easter egg. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, there's a little boy. Have you found my lost key card yet? Oh, could you please remind me the places you might have lost it? Because I don't remember. Mm. Well, it's not on this peninsula. That's the telescope. Wait, this looks like a telescope. Hmm. All right, so if this is the telescope... Oh, no, that's... Mm. No! Eh. No, I do not want you to take the lead. Wait. Ugh. 
Don't you dare. Oh, yes. I'm out. So this is telescope land, right? Yep. Okay. What is this business? Oh. Home. No. Man, these clerks are the worst. Hello, what can I do for you today? I'd like to buy a lamp. <laughs> I'm unfamiliar with what these, uh, what this currency is. Wall arts. I'm gonna press B to cancel. Do I have these items? Pack. No, I've got gems. 74? How do I only have 74? Eh, whatever. Can I buy something? Yeah, sure. I'll buy a lamp. Ten coins. You need a delivery address. Come back when you own some property. Yikes, I'm growing up real fast. Home food. Hello, what can I do for you today? Can I buy a shimp? For ten coins? So that's a small shimp, so I should have two now? I do! What are my coins? You have 64 gems. So gems are coins? Alright, I think there's some mix-up terminology. Gems and coins, it looks like, are the same thing. I still don't know why I'm collecting gems. Well, no, I knew why I was collecting gems. I was to progress the story with uh, um, Lottel. And I don't know why I'm collecting shimp or why shimp are important. Tech. Well, I like tech. Hello, what can I do for you today? I'd like to buy one house, please. No way! I'm getting a game toy. Well, I'm getting a game toy. Add the pack. Am I going to run out of space in my pack? Oh, Oh, oh! Look at this! Uh-oh, my cursor's getting slower. Not sure why. Oh, it's a little faster now. Play my game toy. <laughs> what? Well, it's cute. All right, let's get out of here. Keep going up. Do, 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 do. Miscellaneous. Hello, what can I do for you today? I can buy a rope. I got a rope. I got all the rope I need, as far as I know. Another surfboard? Skateboard, a melody, a key card? I guess I can buy one for him. Sure. What about this guy? Can I talk? There's so many. There's so many characters in the game that I cannot interact with. So it's gotten to the point where if I if I see a character on the screen, like the character on the right here, and I don't have a an, like an indication that he's anyone special, I won't even bother trying to talk to him because chances are they're not going to interact. So this might cause a problem if there's someone I need to interact with. And I, I just don't because uh, it doesn't seem important. All right. I got a key card, buddy. Will you accept it? No, not you. Yes, you. Have you found my lost key card yet? Please bring it to me if you find it. Oh, you found it. Oh, thank you so much. Well, cool. Come through here. I'll get you past <clears throat> the first room. But from there, you'll have to blend in with real workers. Oh, I'm going into the factory? Oh, this is where his dad works. Okay. I hope you get to your kids quickly. All right. Come on, Lottle. <clears throat> 
So this. Dude. Ugh, a real estate. <laughs> a real estate department. Okay. No? Should I talk to people? Once you prep food. Press D-pad to prep the sushi. Okay. Oh. Oof. Work harder. Yes, play again. Left, up, left, left, up, left. Oh, right. I really want the down to be down. Yes, play again. What do you think about that? Well done, Sushi. No. B. I assume B is cancel. Okie dokie. Oh. Oh, I remember this one. <laughs> I don't know how to play that game. Can I play this game? Oh, Steve Jobs! You can go through if you win the game. Which game? This game? Let's keep going up north to my kids. Oh, do I need to beat the game toy? That's not this one. Real. Okay. Press B. Press A. Oh, what is it? B to start? This is a button masher, right? Oh my gosh, I can press a button pretty fast, but that is, uh, whew, that's really fast. Just stay for a few more games. You'll love what Real has created with this, this time. Lethal boy. Let them pass, Dad. They're on their way to help kids in need. Something you wouldn't know anything about. <laughs> we need to talk. Whoa, is that the door opening? I don't want to be under this roof with these quakes. Let's go now, Lotto. We may, oh my gosh, as soon as I come out. Come on. All right, let's swap. Ah, <sighs> come here, you. All right. Ooh. This path leads me leads me here to. Oh, it's a shed. Okay. Oh, I remember this part. Can I bust it? Oh, I see something. Okay. I see a fishing mini game. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Where'd Tack go? Tack, what are you doing? Oh, you're stuck. Come on. Hmm. I've been here before from the other side. What do you think? No, don't take the lead. So I have no abilities. So there's, mm, as far as I can tell, there's no reason for me to be tack other than to get out of the way of Lottle. <laughs> Shut up. I used the rope to get over tall objects. I was not expecting that. Oh, crap, I'm stuck. Mm. Yeah, take the lead. <laughs> oh, I'm so close. What? 
attack, come back. Ah! All right, so I'll chalk this up to another bug, no problem. Fallen tree bug. All right, let's load state. Come here. Yes, take the lead. What? No, I don't want you to take them. No, don't take the lead. All right. I'm going to go follow the path. That does not work. Okay. Yes. No, I'm still stuck here. Can I get over this? I'm curious. Oh wait, let's load state. Is it auto play? It does. Okay, he moves into position and shoots the rope. So I'm going to step away. If I look at my inventory. Oh. Uh, I still have a rope. Okay. Can't go up there. Oh! Oh, I have to press A. Okay, I'm gonna press A to swap into. Whee! <laughs> Uh. Go. I'm stuck on the branch. Hmm. Okay. I jumped past it. I double jumped past it. Something like that. Huh. I'm really high up. What happens if I go this way? Oh, thank goodness I have unlimited fuel. Whee! Oop. Nope. Stop. What's over this way? Let's get up here. All right, so this is, uh, I don't know how I made it past this tree. Yeah. But I can't tell if it was what I was supposed to do or if it was kind of glitching. Oh, get up there. Ah. B button doesn't do anything, okay. Hmm. I see. How did I get the rope up there? Oof! He falls like a. He falls like a Simon Belmont in Castlevania. That's some fast gravity. Okay. Can I tap tap? No. If I hold a... Hmm. There's nothing else to stand on? Ooh. Behind the trees. Oh, I can stand on that thing. Okay, looks like I can stand on small branches. Like that one. Or that one. <clears throat> Gosh darn it. <gasps> uh, no. Small branches? <laughs> yes. Get up there. Uh. Do, do, do. 
Okay. Yes. Okay. Might as well investigate over here. Oh yes, small branches. Oh, it is not very clear that these branches can be stood on. Is this high enough? Yes. Oh my goodness. That was interesting. Okay. Save state. Hey, I remember this guy. Hey, kid. What do you need? I'm not going to use the boat right now. Why, why couldn't I use the boat before? You know, I just saved state. I want to find out. I can't remember. That's not enough gems, lad. It's 50. What am I my gems? Spending my gems? Come on, let's go to school. Come on, Lottle. Aren't you excited? Oh, the school had closed doors. It was kind of south-ish and had lots of doors. Oh, there it is. Looks like it's down there. I remember school is in session. Ah, there we go. A new door. <laughs> Lotto Royal. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh. All right, little cutscene. Excuse me, where are my children? Their dad just picked them up. You know, he could have called. That's it. I can't stand this anymore. Another terrible father. I'm going to the Capitol Spire to burn it down. Give him a piece of my mind. Come on, Tack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Capital Spire. I'm sorry, I think I've seen it before, but I couldn't uh, do anything with it. Is this a. Oh, this looks pretty. Capital Spire. Capital Spire. Access restricted. Step back. I've got access to his work. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, there's a door. There's another door. That's not a door. We're going up, up, up. Is this a door? Ooh, the doors. Some doors work, some doors don't. Okay. You know what, Vec? You've caused me so much stress. I can't even begin. Me? I just did you a favor by picking up the kids. You're so welcome. Sheesh. They are your kids, too. You're always escaping away to your work. Why? Kids, come on, you're coming with me now. Jack, watch out. It's back again. Oh, look at that little guy in the corner. Oh. Oh gosh! Oh, that's my health in the top right corner. Oh no, I lost attack. Oh no, that's another attack! Oh, I see. Okay, I can only move left and right. Mm. Ah, there he is! <laughs> Can I stay down here and avoid the lightning? <laughs> nom nom. Alright, A and B buttons don't do anything. Oh, color. Is that me? Piff. Is that my dream? Eh, 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 eh. Hm. 
Get up, Tack. You can do it. Oh my gosh. I remember that was his uh, his broken headset. Well, I thought that <laughs> for a moment I thought the thing on the floor was a a bra. <laughs> All right. What was that? Okay. Oh, so check it out. I was noticing the colors in this game. The uh, dream world, the real dream world was blue. Everything was blue. The sunny beaches were blue. The underground caverns were blue, blue and white. The real world is orange and yellow. What was that? That, my friend, was a for realsy dream. Oh, I'm not going in there. That's mom's room. Okay. Mom's not here. Can I go get my... Nope. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, mom. Tack, can we talk? Ooh. I'm sorry for what I said last night. Yeah, me too. I got you something to make up for it. Sim mask added to pack. A new sim mask? Thank you, Mom. See you later, Tack. I'm off to work now. Ah, yeah. This fits her character. Where, uh, instead of uh, dealing with the situation and the emotions and the... What's it called? Instead of dealing with the uh, relationship, ah, spend money to try to fix it. Dream Shark, created by Benjamin McCarthy. <laughs> oh, cool. Help turn this into a finished game. Dream Shark Kickstarter, May 7th, 2024. There's the game! Can I save? Yes, okay. Whoa. The saving is taking a long time. I'm gonna press A. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna save state. Can I... Oh! What was here? Oh, a map. I'm no longer in the dream world. Wait a minute. Uh... <laughs> It looks like I can still scroll through. What was it? When I press start, I can scroll to where the map icon used to be, but uh, I can't select it. Or selecting it will just select the pack. Mini keyboard, one out of five parts. All right. And tack has that much lucidity and that much fuel. So, oh my gosh. So lucidity, as far as I can tell, never came into effect. Uh, if this is the end of the game, then I still don't know what causes lucidity to change or why I would want it changed. Uh, I understand fuel. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised I never got the fuel greater than where it is right now. Uh, if that, I don't know. How do I put it? If this is how much fuel the player is ever intended to have, then just consider making this amount. 100% <laughs> like there's no reason to keep it down here and like 25% just make it 100% and have it use up as a uh, refill and use up uh, the whole bar no reason to use partial bar if uh, that's gonna be the whole bar uh, let's see I don't even know how many items I had oh that's right I had uh, those gem things oh my gosh didn't I have donuts in the beginning I collected donuts in the beginning uh, Vips. I clicked the Vips in the beginning, and I don't know why. Oh, there's a lot of ideas going around in this game. All right, so I'm going to... I saved my game. I saved my state. I'm going to reset. Let's try loading my game. A. Save file. So there's no indication that one file is or isn't. Empty save file. Oh, oh, saving game doesn't work. Okay, well, it appears that saving game doesn't work. This is a beta, so I assume that'll work in the future. Uh, let's see here. I can load state. Actually, go back. I have the option to play mini games. Okay. 
Oh, look at this! I got the surfing minigame. I got the fishing minigame. I got the game toy. <laughs> so it looks like there's a MIDI music minigame. Along with some others. I wonder... Is it actually possible to... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, possible. Is the beta far along enough that this is actually in the game? I could find all five parts? Man, I thought I explored a lot. I guess there's a lot more to explore. Well, here, if I cancel this, oh, and load my save game, load my save state, can I, what if I want to go back and do more game? Eh, get up there. Your bedroom is upstairs. All right, we're just going to leave this trash on the floor. Oh, yes. I want to go back to, what? Wait. This is where I left off in my dream. It's another really cool environment. Boop. Oh, I can climb on things. Only black things. More unlimited. Nope, only some black things. <laughs> How about a black pole? Nope. Can I go this way? Okay. No. Oh, I did it. Okay. Is there any more to discover? Oh, I slipped. All right, I don't seem to be going anywhere, getting anywhere fast in this uh, in this place. Can I leave? Exit. No, that exits the menu. Pack. Lucidity. Fuel. Pack. I guess all my stuff. I still got my shimp. I'm now in a forest. I'm not sure how much shimp and a fishing pole will help me. I've got a key card still. Ugh. Harmonies alphabet. Decode ancient texts. Oh. Oh. What's this? Oh, there it is. H. Ha. Huh. H. A. Ha. Har. Let me guess, M. Har. And the X thing should be an S. Harmonies. Okay, so this sign down here says Harmonies. That's cute. Uh, I still got my game toy. Am I. Oh, I press select. Wake up. Okay. I'm not sure how I can get back to. Uh, the other place. Actually, can I even leave my house? Oh, there we go. So I got one keyboard part. Oh, I'm getting better at double jumping. Oh, that's right. I'm using fuel. Oh, gotta go all the way up here. I got a digital camera. Okay. So, <laughs> this is, <laughs> I guess the game's not over. So, uh, I'm kind of tripping out. So, this is the real world. I have been here before multiple times. And I think this is the third time I've been, you know, east of my house. And I think? I think this is the same place. One time I caught the bus and the bus kind of flew over this part. But if I wasn't expecting this to be a new area, because I thought I'd been here before, leave my house and walk to the right. 
I guess I was wrong. Okay, let's see. Can I use my camera? Yeah, that one. Oh. Oh. Parallax scrolling in a 3D environment. I'm gonna walk off into the sunset. Alright, let's get... Can I have more fuel? Oh no, it was already open. Alright. I'm back here. Oh, whoa, this is where I went? Oh, so if I go to the right at the bottom, it's one area. Well, what if I'm medium size and go to the right? Nothing. Tiny size, go to the right. Itty bitty size, and that's where I was. All right, and then I pop back out here. Can I go up here to the left? Oh. So left is, or up is just where I was. All right, can I use my camera here? All right, maybe I'll end this. Maybe I'll end my uh, play session here, walking off into the sunset. All right. So now for a little review, or no, for a conclude, for uh, summarize my thoughts. Um, let's see, the, uh, well, I mean, to start simple, the, uh, the music is outstanding, which doesn't surprise me, uh, this game was developed by a musician, um, the plot, uh, the plot, I learned recently the difference between a plot and a story, the plot is excellent, and very interesting, the whole idea of a uh, futuristic world where, well, I call it a post-apocalyptic world where, you know, the Earth is basically no longer inhabitable. People live on the moon. They use technology to escape to a better place. Uh, one boy, due to circumstances, ends up dreaming for the first time and has a little adventure in his dream. Um... <laughs> uh... I'm still not convinced this was the end of the game. Uh, I will stop playing here. It's been about, I've been playing for about three hours. Uh, if this is the end of the game, this game needs 100% more dream shark. <laughs> I love the idea of a dream shark haunting someone's dreams and uh, having it be this uh, imposing, scary creature and you don't know where it's gonna pop up. Almost like uh, Metroid Fusion SAX or whatever. Um, but it has to have, uh, it has to have some, well, wow, I'm going to start rambling. I don't know where you want to go with the dream shark. The dream shark's a cool idea. I'm surprised how little it was used, especially in regards to the characters in the game. I expect that the characters to react more to the idea of a dream shark, you know, walking around because, you know, it was causing the quakes. Um, how do I put this? The characters in the game were not scared by the dream shark essentially it was me the player that kept being introduced to the game shark and saying whoa what is that thing as it kept popping up i'd be interested if the characters reacted more if the characters reacted more to the dream shark then it would cause me as a player to react more to the dream shark uh excellent music excellent plot the <laughs> variety and amount of game in this game is uh exhausting there is so much in it uh that can be a lot of fun if uh mm, i see that there's a lot of mini games if i had chosen mini games the first time i turned on this game and saw that they were all locked it would give me an incentive to play the game uh, to try to unlock those uh i only played each of the mini games a little bit i would you know uh consider flushing them out more uh, if the for example if the um, if one of the mini games is a space shooter game find a way to make it more uh, engaging or challenging uh, more to dodge more to shoot uh, the surfing game 
was a little clunky in that stuff just kind of popped up out of nowhere. Uh, it caused, made, made it frustrating or difficult to dodge things, but it was still clever and cool to look at and interesting to play. I've never played a surfing game like that before on a Game Boy game. Uh, let's see here. The uh, story lacked a lot of drive. It was me wandering around from one area and one person to the next. One, um, oh, one thing that really stood out to me is that I would consider this game, this is, so games can have different aspects to them. There are, I call them a gameplay aspect and a story aspect. Uh, games like Pac-Man is an example of a game with essentially no story. You press start and you're right in the middle of the gameplay. Uh, it's pure gameplay, essentially no story. I'll go ahead and, and uh, make the claim that Pac-Man has no story. Uh, <laughs> um, and the gameplay is very engaging. Uh, it's easy to pick up and play. Uh, it is, Pac-Man is quick, to, easy to understand. You collect dots to win. You uh, get hit by a ghost to lose. And you try to get a high score. Uh, the alternative is, um, or no, on the other end, there is story, story elements in games. Um, <laughs> there are extreme examples where there are, I call them walking simulators. Uh, I haven't played anything. I think, uh, I don't know, some of them became popular on Steam recent, in recent years. I don't know the names, but you're literally just walking through an environment, but because the environment is so engaging and the dialogue is so engaging that they're entertaining. Uh, story games have many times have extremely little replayability because it's similar to reading a book. You read a book, you get to the end, and that's the end. You experience it. Uh, some people enjoy, of course, reading books multiple times, but that's not going to be for everyone. Uh, this game, from what I can tell, very much leans towards being a story it's a on, on the story sides of, of things of gameplay oh i'm saying it wrong i wish i could remember the term gameplay mechanics and story mechanics let's try that gameplay mechanics and story mechanics this game heavily leads towards being a story um oh another example of a story in my opinion this is kind of controversial uh the legend of zelda breath of the wild I can't get into that game because I personally I much prefer uh, gameplay. I loaded a Breath of the Wild and I just spent so much time walking around trying to figure out what, not trying to figure out what to do. I didn't, I didn't have anything driving me what to do. Um, so I, I got, I got bored pretty quickly in the Breath of the Wild. Um, if you're going to have a game, ba that is mostly story elements. And I say uh, this game, Dream Shark, is mostly uh, story gameplay, story mechanics. If there's going to be mostly story that the player experience, uh, then it needs to be uh, engaging. There has to be something driving the player to see what happens next in the story. Uh, this game was, uh, the story in this game was uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. a young boy is bored in his life and he has a dysfunctional family and due to circumstances he ends up dreaming for the first time into a dangerous world where he meets another dysfunctional family and helps them reunite with their children and then he wakes up oh and then uh has a brief uh communication with his with his mom after fighting with her um Oh, and the reason I say that uh, I want to back up a little bit. So I meant I say, I, I, in my opinion, this game is mostly story mechanics as opposed to gameplay mechanics. And the reason I say that is because there is plenty of gameplay, especially in the mini games in this game. But um, gameplay, that type of gameplay, is uh, characterized by being able to 
win and lose. Clear clear win scenarios and clear lose scenarios. And in all the mini games, uh, or in none of none of the mini games where there were there clear win lose uh, scenarios, it was you keep playing until you win. Uh, once I got through a mini game, there was not a big incentive to play them again. Uh, that I could tell. There was the one right in the beginning that said, uh, you know, congratulations, you shot, uh, it was like a, a shoot 'em up. Oh, I, I dodged ships. I know, what is it? It was, it was like a shoot 'em up with no shooting. I dodged everything for about 10 seconds, got to the end, and it said, do you want to play again? Oh, you leveled up your ship. And do you want to play again? And then I played again, and I was now in a spaceship that I could shoot. That was cool. Um, I was expecting the mini games to keep building like that. So there would be more and more incentive to play, and as you play, the more powerful you get. And uh, But once again, that doesn't really fit in with the story. It's almost like separate games put together into one. So I don't know if that's what you intended or where you want to go with it. Uh, let's see. Oh, so going back. So that's why I would say this game is mostly, at this current form, is mostly story mechanics instead of gameplay mechanics. In regards to the story, if you are going to have a game that's mostly story, which is fine. It needs to have something that really drives the player to get to the next, oh, I already said, I'm repeating myself, to get to the next, uh, see what happens next in the story. Uh, part of the problem with that is the dialogue. A lot of the dialogue in this game is, uh, how do I put it? Well, first of all, I can keep it simple. Have you heard of the Miyamoto test? Miyamoto, the man who made Super Mario Brothers and The Legend of Zelda, whatever. Apparently in his game, when he's developed, working on a game, uh, his, uh, the people he works with will bring their work to Miyamoto, Ishiguro Miyamoto, to uh, have him do the Miyamoto test. They have to make sure uh, the dialogue, all the dialogue passes the test. And the example I remember is when uh, Link uh, in Wind Waker, so Link is whatever, 10 year old boy, walks into a bar on an island he's never been on, and uh, he walks up to the bartender and says, hey, you know, the bartender says what bartenders say, which is, Hey, what can I get you to drink? This dialogue fails the Miyamoto test because why would a bartender be asking a 10 year old boy what he wants to drink? To pass the test, the bartender should be saying, Hey, what's a kid doing out, you know, this late at night? Go home. Something like that. And so uh, this dialogue should always fit the scenario. Uh, so that's one thing to consider. Um, a lot of cleanup is needed in the punctuation and capitalization of the dialogue. For example, it looks like the intent was to have all proper names capitalized, but sometimes they weren't. Whatever, that's pretty easy to clean up. Uh, I recommended removing the ellipses because it made it confusing to know when a sentence trailed off and when a sentence continued on to the next, uh, next line of dialogue, next uh, dialogue screen, whatever, the pop-up. Uh, uh, there was a lot of stuff said that didn't need to be said. Now, I'm already way past all the dialogue, so I'm having trouble thinking of examples. But things like uh, when a character says a line of dialogue that's important to progress the story, and then my character, Tack, responds, Yeah, sure, okay. Like, there's no reason to say, Yeah, sure, okay. Just, just move on. It's... Uh, there's some, I guess to summarize, there's some unneeded dialogue. Uh, so trim it, trim it so there's less uh, less uh, unneeded chatter. And the more uh, unneeded chatter there is, the more that opens up time for more dialogue to, uh, to uh, embellish the characters, to uh, de develop the characters. In regards to the characters, I don't really know a lot about them at all. I know every mother in the game is upset at their is frustrated with their useless husbands and annoyed by their children. I know all the fathers in the game are hardworking and uninvolved in family life and kind of angry at their families or bitter towards their families. I know all the children in the games are whiny and uh, 
clean, not clingy. They are de dependent, whiny, and needy. Yeah. Um. <laughs> right. So there's a there's lots of uh, why why is the mom that way? I kind of got a tiny hint why the mom was that way. Uh, but it'd be interesting to find out. For example. I don't know where you want to go with the characters. This might be all the character development there is. It'd be, it could be interesting to know why the mom is the way she is. Why she wanted, why she's so angry with uh, that her, with me. Why she was so upset with me is uh, why she decided she needed to. Oh no, there wasn't a lot of build up to the mask getting broken. Why was she using the mask when she told me not to use the mask? <laughs> I like when I screamed hypocrite. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the characters are all... Uh, oh, two-dimensional? Two I think they're two-dimensional. Um, which is one of my favorite things to think about. My favorite uh, topics, just because it's, I find it fascinating because I don't know how to make a good three-dimensional character, so I like reading about it and studying it. I think this is a scenario where everyone's two-dimensional. And not only were they two-dimensional, but there were multiple characters, multiple fathers, multiple mothers, multiple children that all had the same uh, pretty basic, simple personality traits. All right. Let's see. Um, a lot of the scenery was confusing so the scenery is beautiful oh my gosh i'm still in love with the uh what's it called like the diamond it's not diamond most of the forest in the game most of the forest in the game was this uh jagged crystal looking pine forests that had such a cool diagonal or uh i wish i could think of the right word oh well you made it you know what it looks like you saw it uh i love those effects um, looks beautiful, but it can be confusing to walk around. So consider placing more borders around screens that you can't walk out of. If there's a, an overhead view and there's one door, consider putting trees or rocks all around uh, the edge where you can't walk out. It makes it a little less confusing for the player. Also, if uh, a path is not if the player is unable to walk between two objects, put something in between those two objects to make it more obvious that uh, you can't walk through there. Don't let a player walk halfway through something and get kind of stuck and fumble around. Uh, in regards to the the buddy, oh, this is a this is a buddy flick. Yeah, you and Lottle finding making their way to the kids. Um, I felt useless as a player. I wish there was something uh, Tack could do. Maybe. Uh, you have Lottles, you have, has the ability to shoot past items and maybe give me the ability to pop, to jump, jump and pop over uh, pits. So there's uh, more of an incentive to go back and forth between different types of characters. Oh, let's see here. Um, so yep, clean up, uh, in summary, clean up, uh, clean up the scenery. Not, uh, it looks good. It, I'm sorry, the scenery looks good, but clean it up in regards to being able to walk around it more easily. Um, I mentioned in the game, consider making the NPC that follows you around uh, just just able to walk through them. I, I don't think there's any reason to need to be able to have collision detection with uh, Lottel. Just let the player walk through them. And then when you're Lottel, let the player walk through Tack. Uh, if that's not an option, I think it's okay with the way it is. The problem is I spent more time being really frustrated with Lottle because she was in my way than I was with uh, her help, than I was happy with her help. So I'm not sure what to do about that. Um, in regards to the player objective, I spent a lot of time confused about where I was going and why I wanted to go there. Um, Yeah, what else can I say about that? Um, oh, so, actually, there was almost, most of the time I had 
plenty of things to try next. Oh gosh, how do I express this? There were many situations where I as the player was overwhelmed with choice and what to do next. I think this game could easily be fleshed out to twice the size with what it already has. For example, let's see if I can say this right. Anytime I go into a new forest or a new a new section of the of the island. There's a new section of the island with a city and there are all these houses. Um if those houses are important, if they're unimportant, eh, consider closing the doors or removing them from the game. If they are important, they could easily be separated out into new sections of the island so that as I'm exploring, anytime I get to a new screen, I have either one place to go or maybe two places to go, two branching points. That's what I want to say. There were many times when I was playing the game, forget my example, there were many times in the game, uh, what I'm trying to say is there were many times in the game where I was presented with two, three, or four new options of what to do next, and it's intimidating, a little scary. You know, I turn, I come to find out that one of the options doesn't have any effect, uh, so consider just removing that option, you know, that path, that next screen, that whatever. Um, another time, I, um, if, if another uh, path will lead me to uh, a mini game. That's cool. Make it clear that this is just a mini game and optional, and it's okay to turn around and go back and go another way. Um, consider forcing the player to play a mini game to unlock it. Uh, does, it does that make sense? Don't force the player to play the mini to win the mini game, but force them to play it so that they have the option to unlock it so they don't miss it. I don't know. Oh, at this point, okay, my point was made about. 20 seconds ago. Past that, uh, I forget what I said. <laughs> I'm just rambling. Um, there were a few brief times where I didn't know what I wanted to do next and where to go to do it. So I was just fumbling around, which can be bad, but honestly, every time that happened, I found out what to do next. So apparently something's, something's going right. So that's good. Um, there's good use of paths on the ground to lead the player where to go next. It wasn't just completely open. Um, what else? Oh, there were many times I got lost because of the characters. You know, uh, the little boy near the end. Uh, hey, I lost my key card. <laughs> Let me know when you find it. And then he walks away. It's like, well, shoot. <laughs> How am I going to find him? He's just a random little boy now. Uh, I did end up finding him because, you know, I tried to, but if, uh, if I was pa pausing, saving the game and then coming back to it to, and I remembered I needed to bring a key card to someone, well, first of all, I had no idea who that person was or where he is. And two, uh, second, <laughs> I don't remember the places he said to look. It turns out, what did I do? I went to the store and just bought a key card. I still don't know. And then he accepted it. I still don't know if that was the right, the right solution or if I was supposed to look around and try to finish that fetch quest if there was a different solution. Hmm. Let's see. I only found two real game breaking bugs uh, that you can see in the video. When I finished the surfing mini game, uh, the game crashed. No big deal. I loaded from a save state on the fallen tree oh you know and the second i said was the fallen tree i got stuck on the fallen tree so near the end of the uh, my play session i threw the rope over the fallen tree tried to climb over it and got stuck there i think the answer that might not have been a bug that might not have been a soft lock i thought it was a soft lock it might be the case that i just needed to press the a button and i didn't know that um not sure what can be done about that there are a few scenarios where you know, I expected to start something by pressing start. I needed to press A. Well, I thought I could walk into something. Turns out I needed to press a button instead. Stuff like that. Mm. Well, I tried to 
I tried to verbalize all of my expected button presses as I was playing the game, so hopefully that gets that's clarified by watching the playthrough. And you can decide if anything needs to change. I think those are all my comments. It's a very interesting use of color. So this is a Game Boy Color game. I think this could work as a classic Game Boy game, you know, black and white. Um, I understand if you don't want to do that because your vision for this game includes having the different color schemes, but nothing really stood out to me that screamed, this needs to be in color. So if you think that'll, if it's possible and you think it'll help, uh, I don't know, get the game to more people, you could consider making a Game Boy, classic Game Boy version. Uh, that might not be possible with the hardware limitations, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, in regards to, let's see, I talked about graphics, I talked about music. <laughs> I didn't talk about music, I need to talk about music. Music's perfect. Um, in regards to replayability, uh, I don't find much replayability. So once again, because it's a story-based game, the story happens, the user experiences it, and then that's the end. Um, there's no traditional, I didn't see, well, was there a traditional three act structure? Oh my gosh, remember the opening scene? That was forever ago. It all, the game all started in, uh, what was it? The, the sim world? Holy cow, I forgot about that. Dude, there's like 18 different games in this game. Whew. <laughs> yeah, wow, okay. Um, yeah, many, many different games and gameplay elements in this game. Hopefully, so I commented on each one that I was playing, as I was playing. Uh, I'd be happy to give more comments on any individual section, if you'd like, uh, to help flesh out those ideas, what could be improved or, or changed to make it more engaging. Uh, for example, I was being chased by a dream shark, which looked awesome. Uh, apparently all I had to do was move towards the middle of the screen and let go of the controller, and I got to the end. So, for example, stuff like that. Uh, stuff to make that kind of gameplay scenario more engaging. So, right, if I, I picked a random number. There's like 18 different types of games in this game. Uh, they're all th put together, but none of them feel f done. None of them feel fully cooked yet. If I, if there was, oh gosh, three, four, or five main gameplay mechanics that were really fleshed out and really solid, I think it'd be better than having uh, a pile of stuff that that uh, is less interesting to play. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, it was a new experience. I'm glad I got to try it out. Thank you. 